Andy Hillier and in this guitar lesson I'm going to teach you how to play It Can't Last and then Home in Brackets uh, from The Last of Us Part 2. Beautiful little classical guitar song, played on a classical guitar but today I'm going to play it on an acoustic guitar but you can play it on any type, you could even play it on an electric guitar if you wanted to. Um, I've already done a cover version of it, um, I'll try and put a, like a, a card at the top right or top left, I don't know which way it goes. Um, uh, so I've done a cover version of it, of me playing through the whole song. In this lesson, I'm just going to teach you how to play it. Uh, if you want to hear the song all in its, all together, then watch that other video. Just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, uh, that'd be amazing. Uh, if you could give me a like on the video, uh, and also in the comment section, let me know what you think of the video, let me know where in the world you're from, uh, if you found it easy, if it's hard. Also, let me know any songs you want me to do videos on, and I'll try and do a video for you. And if you really want to help me out, there's also some merchandise that you can purchase. Uh, some t-shirts and some mugs. Really helps the channel out. Okay, we're going to go line by line. The first line, the main melody of the song, uh, it sounds like this. So for that, it starts fret 5 on the A string and ideally use your little finger and then it goes to anything in a bracket you don't play, you just ignore, it's just holding the note on, so any note in a bracket you ignore. Uh, so you play the A5, then put your third finger on E5, back to the A5, then first finger on D2, and then it goes down those strings again, E5, A5, D2, then move the first finger up to D3. Then put your first finger to G3, then G2, then 5 on the A string, then another 5 on the A string, and then a quick slide from A5 up to fret 7. Okay, and the whole line sounds like this. Okay, and that line repeats, so that's the main melody, and then we go to the build, now the build sounds like this, I'll, I'll just do the first eight bars of the build, it goes... So for that, we've got first finger A1, third, uh, then your little finger on B3, and you're playing the A, the D string open, and the B3 at the same time and then you just hit the D string on its own. And then we go to this shape, which is your first finger on D2, second finger on A3, little finger on B3. Playing those strings, holding it on, and then playing the D2 on its own. And then we go up to this shape, which is your first finger on D3. I'll put my second finger on A5, and little finger on B6. We hold that and then it just plays fret five on the A string. On the record, that's down an octave, or yeah, I think it's just one octave. Yeah, it's down an octave, but I've changed it to there. So the first eight bars go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you repeat back and play the first four bars and then jump over to the bar 17 and you're just going to hit an A chord, which all we're doing is playing the A string, the D2 and the B2 at the same time. And that holds on for four bars. So the second time round, so we're going to go the first, second, third, fourth bars of that line and then jump to the last four bars. So you get two, three, four, one, two, three. Three. Okay, so that, that's the build. There is a build later on which is slightly different, we'll see that in a sec. Um, after the build, we get to this interlude which goes... So for that, we've got our third finger on B3, first finger on G2. We're going to play the A string and the G string then the G string and then the B string twice. So the first bar, and 
then you're just going to strum that chord twice. The next bar is almost the same as the first bar. But the last note of that bar has changed to an open D string and then two chords. So this little interlude sounds like this. After that you do the melody which is the same as the first melody. Uh, sorry. And that line repeats. And then we do a different build. Um, it's almost the same, slight little changes on it. it. Starts with this, and then we're gonna play, so your first finger A1, and your little finger on B3. So same as the other build, uh, but it holds it for six beats before hitting the B string and the D string at the same time. Uh, so you get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Same shape as the next one, as it was before. So it's almost the same, but um, in the first time bar, we hit that chord, which is three on the D string, five on the A string, little finger on B6, holds it for six beats, and then you play the third fret of the D string, and then another third fret of the D string, and then a pull off from three to two on the D string, and then open D string. So let me play that build for you. It goes one, two, three, four, one, two, and then it goes back through the first four bars uh, and then jumps to just hitting a D chord. So the second time through of the build goes. Just holds that D chord for four bars. After that second build, we get to a middle eight, which sounds like this. So for that, we're going to little finger on a, uh, E10. First finger barred across the G and the D strings at the seventh fret, and second finger on A8. Uh, and we're playing, you can either do it as a strum on the chord, uh, or you could play just the A, E string and the G string. I'm getting all the strings confused today. Uh, we're gonna play that, then the D string, and then the A string, and then back to the D string. So that first bar goes. Then the next shape is your first finger across the second fret, E and the B strings, and then I've got my fret four on the A string. So the first four bars go. And then this next bar is the same thing that we had up here on the 10th fret, but just moved all down two frets. So we're going little finger on eight, first finger on five, second finger on six, and you've got. And then it just hits this D string and B3 at the same time. So let's try the whole middle eight. And that line repeats, and then there's uh, a little bit more of the middle eight, which just does like the second half of that. So you get. Uh, and then the end chord is just the same as that four on the A string, and then fret two on the B and the G strings. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little video of mine. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, it's Andy Hillier, that really helps me out. If you could give me a like on the video uh, and leave me some comments in the comment section. Any songs you want me to do, let me know where in the world you're from and if you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you really want to help the channel out, because half the time other people take the revenue because I'm doing different songs from other people, so I don't get paid. So if you want to help me out, there's some t-shirts below, merchandise, all the profits are going to help me uh, live and uh, make these videos for you. Well, thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier. Hope you're doing well out there, and I'll see you next time.